Hello, all this RPG7. How are you all doing today? Today I was uh, browsing my inbox and I came across this email by goodoldgames.com. It's a great place to pick up old games if you don't know about it, and they're usually on the down low. Right now, this is a. Uh, they say it's a summer selection, 50% off for this weekend. I've remembered them doing it every weekend with uh, half off sales. But I thought, you know, it's three bucks. Why not pick up a game and play it? Good old games are all, uh, all old games. Not all. They've been changing it to just DRM-free games. But a lot of them are old games. And they're all these and goodies. So I have just heard my headset power off. I have no echo on now. Okay. Um, but... We're going to look at a couple of them that are uh, up for sale, and I'm going to pick one of them to Let's Play over this week until next sale. Next weekend. Yes. So, what do we have? Well, I already played Worms. I own Worms, so I'm crossing that out. Super Frog. Let us open a new... T Actually, let's do this. Whoopsie. That's right. <laughs> One trick that Gog likes to pull is they like to bring you to the sales page when you click on the email and try to sell you all of it. It uh, has a notification up here of when the promo ends, but I don't necessarily want to drop 2230 on games that I'm not going to play. So, in the meantime, I'm going to help you guys out and change the resolution to full. I just wanted to cut out some of my personal info from this video. I shall be back in un momento. Now that we're back in full screen and you can see what I'm doing better, I can close the email. Yay, no personal info leaked. Okay, so, we already crossed Worms off the list. I've played Worms. Um, let's see what Super Frog's about. Super Frog. Genre. Genre? Genre. Action Arcade Platformer. Ew. I am not good at platformers whatsoever. Um, anybody you can ask can attest to that. I suck at platforming. Especially on the PC. Eh, we'll consider it. I'm not going to cross it off the list yet. But, um, Alien Breed plus Tower Assault. Actually, I already own this. Let me close that. Cross off list. I already own that. I have it on Steam, I believe. I know I have some Alien Assault game or Alien Breed game in Steam. Um, I'm not sure if it's that one or not. But let us World Rally Fever. Cute chick in the picture. Old school racer. Franch. Huh. Oh, pardon me. Overview. World Rally Fever is exactly what the title says. It's fast-paced. It is a fast-paced, crazy action racing game that features circuits themed to evoke different famous places from around the world. Rendered in stylish, anime-style graphics. Rendered in style and style stylist and paired with a sleek soundtrack. Mm, I'm not gonna doubt them on the second part, but um, let's see. For '96, I can see it. Yeah, I can see for '96. '96. Uh, eight characters to choose from, each with a unique characteristic that affects the handling of the vehicles. Fair play is something you have to forget and push to one side. Goody. Because the race starts, there is no rules but one, you win. You are not defenseless, though, in this competition. There are weapons and power-ups you can use. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 I don't really want to start with a racing game. Hmm. 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 
Let's see, American Conquest and Fight Back. It looks like an RTS, old clusterfuck you on. Hmm. Wage historical wars on an epic scale with over... You know, this is what pisses me off. Because this is... This is a US... This is an Americanism. But I hate when they use the decimal point instead of a comma to denote thousandths because when I read this I see 16.000 units meaning that you can have 16 units but what they're trying to say is you can have over 1600 units which probably is 8000 units per side did I say 1600 units? 16,000 units 12 nations to choose from with its own unique set of units, buildings, and technolog and technologies and abilities. Not technological abilities. Extensive battle mechanics that feature economics and political dependencies, unit formations, and tactical maneuvers. Um, American Conquest, Columbus through Washington. American Congress fight back. This actually seems really, really interesting. Let's see what else we got. Ah, uh, car sacks. Another old timey. Actually, it looks like you're actually collecting. Hmm. Uh huh. The Carsack Sears are a best selling of the real. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Carsack Sears are a best seller of the real time strategy game genre that sold over 4 million copies worldwide. Winner of the PC Zone Award of Excellence, and they are an unquestionable gem in the genre. The pack includes the original two and its expansions, post Renaissance Europe history, da 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 da. So. With that, it comes down to, do, oof, you guys didn't hear that, but I just let out a really, really loud fart. Sorry. I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to click on the heroes of an, the heroes of an annihilated, heroes of an annihilated empires. Heroes of an annihilated empires. The heroes of an of annihilated empires. Ugh. That hurts. It's a newer one. It's from 2006. Enjoy seamless combinations of RTA. Ah, wait, I should do what I do with all of them. Screenies. It's an ent. I think I let Stonehenge in an Ent. I think I like this. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and he's got a trailer. Enjoy a seamless combination of RTS and RPG gameplay, with the possibility to combine or choose between one and the other, followed by a captivating campaign with the story and written by Ukrainian novelist. I'm not even going to attempt because I'm going to butcher that. I know the yeah, uh, yeah, I know the last name is Novak. I think I got that right. I'm just... I'm going to stop now. I want to try, but I'm going to stop. The spectators of war looming over the world of... Of... Atlantis? I think it wants to be Atlantis, but it's Atalans. The young and courageous elven ranger, Elhant, must gather an army to prevent his people from being damned. Of bloodshed and conflict. Elhant 
will encounter is love. Hatred. Friendship. And betrayal. You'll have to survive through bloodshed and clashes and massive battles. Our hero will not find alone, as he is assisted by Lana, the daughter of the Elven Supreme Commander and her druid army. Join them as they travel through the lands of Adlands and fight to save themselves and their people from the power-hungry Necron horrors and his undead horde. And that's just reiterating the points at the top. Hmm. What do I get with this? And here's another thing that I like about GOG. If you look here, I get the soundtrack. Which probably just means that the soundtrack isn't encrypted. Get the manual. Get eight wallpapers, ten avatars, and four artworks. Let's see. What type of fluff did I get with this one? Two soundtracks, two avatars, two reference cards... Three wallpapers and two manuals, because it's two games. Two manuals, wallpaper, reference card, and soundtrack. What did I get? Did I get the soundtrack with the racer? Just the soundtrack. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's a good selection. I'm actually going to pause here, because the video is getting a little long for the intro to the series. So I'm going to render this and check my bank account and start to set up GOG. Not God. Start to set up thingy. Ah! Da -da 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 -da.